Man, I tell you what, my legs are so swollen. I don't know if you can see that. That's how swollen they are. That's the shape of my foot right now. They gave me some Oxycontin. I said I need something because the top feels like it's just going to rip off. Just explode. But this is all puffed up too, my legs. These things are pretty cool. I like them. They kind of massage your legs, I guess. But man, today I've got like uh, issues. I'm just can't get comfortable today. But the Oxycontin it was given to me about 15 minutes ago, so it should start kicking in any time, I hope. But I'm just... They're talking about moving me again into a skilled nursing thing maybe Monday. This is a Saturday. So who knows? I may end up getting moved yet. I'm sitting here watching TV. There's my outside view. It's a little pod. That's what they call these pods. It's kind of... Right outside the door is where all the nurses' station is for this pod. I don't know. There's like a six or seven pods per floor, maybe? Or just on this floor, there's pods. I don't know. But, uh... Oh, my goodness. I just, uh... I'm just ready for a change. I've been here since the 26th of January. I've been in a hospital, some hospital, since the 15th of January. And I think today is the 6th of February. So it's like I've been in a hospital for a long time, almost a month now. And uh, I'm ready for a change. I just hope the change is a good one. Because I have no idea. There's my drawing I've got over there. I did a... Oh, oh, there's... I did some painting. Wow, it's way over there. You can't see it, probably. But I did a little bit of painting. And, uh... I didn't know it got moved that far away. We should have muted the TV before I started... Recording, and I didn't. Uh, my hair's not falling out yet. But, uh, you know, I don't really care if it does or not. It was ready to get cut. It hadn't been that long for a while. I like it long. I'm glad you guys think it looks cute short. And I like it short, but I like it when it grows out, too. I take turns. Usually, I cut it once a week, a year. Because it grows so fast. <laughs> so... Oh, gosh. Man, I've got, like, a crazy knee syndrome. <laughs> Don't have anything new to tell you today. Um, I'm just uh, kind of bored. But at least I'm not in any kind of pain. I just, I can't complain too much. I mean, I do complain. But, uh, uh. I have no reason to complain. I still don't get sick. I don't get nauseous. I'm not lightheaded or dizzy. I can walk to the bathroom and back. I have no pain as far as the cancer goes. The only pain I really have is the tops of my feet. Oh boy, is that painful. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm doing okay. All things considered, if it wasn't for this big old thing in my lungs, I'd be perfect. And I am breathing better, obviously. But I still can't take a full breath. You know, a deep breath. They have a, a port. They call it a port. Let's see if I can show that. This thing here. To where they don't have to stick me with the needle as much. Uh, they use this to take blood instead of sticking me every time they need blood, which is every day. They do stick me with a needle for, I forget what the medicine is now. 
So once a day I get stuck in my arm and it's probably bruised. Oh yeah. Yeah. I figured it is. They try to take turns on where they're sticking me, but it does bruise. And, uh, um, hooey. I guess that's it. <laughs> still, still have a dry, dry cough. But, what the hell? Could be so much worse. It could be so much worse. Okay. I'm watching John Wayne on TV. That's cool. Tonight I'll be watching two James Dean movies. Like James Dean, Rebel Without a Cause. And... <coughs> East of Eden. I'm watching North to Alaska. That's a good, good John Wayne movie. Oh, goodness. And, uh, mostly I'm just, uh, want someone to talk to. So, uh, you guys who have my phone number, please call me and say hi. Because I like hearing from you. I may have trouble talking after a while. Because if I talk too much, I get out of breath. But, uh, sure it's nice to hear a friendly voice. Okay. We'll talk about a drastic way to lose weight, huh? <laughs> I guess I'm going to end it. Um, it's about uh, 11 more days before <laughs> my son heads this way with, with my friend, my subscriber friend who I haven't met but she's uh, the one that volunteered to pick him up and I uh, love you to pieces for that man you saved you helped us a lot by doing that by offering that and uh, it's not easy for her because she has trouble meeting strangers and like she said he's a stranger I said he's not a stranger he's my son but to her he's a stranger so it's very, very courageous and brave of you to do this for me. And I will never forget you for that. And uh, he finally, I think, has eased her mind. They finally got to talk a little bit. And uh, they have a few things in common. And, and I think uh, it helped. I think it helped a lot. So I'm glad of that. Uh, and uh, I'm probably talking too quiet for you to hear me. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and end this now. I'll probably skip a day or two because, as usual, you know, same stuff's happening all the time. I got a little aggravated today again because uh, I think I told you I have shingles. So they brought my breakfast. They forgot to bring my cream of wheat. And since I have mouth sores. Oh, can't put the teeth in anymore. She brought the cream of wheat, sat it down and left, and it wasn't hot. And I don't eat cold cream of wheat. Does anybody? So I called someone in to have them stick it in the microwave. And since I have shingles, they said anything that comes in here can't be taken out. I mean, and drop it. You don't like that. So I didn't get to eat it. So I was feeling sorry for myself. Because <laughs> I have so few things to look forward to. The food. I always look forward to something I can actually eat that doesn't taste like cardboard and the cream of wheat. I can eat. So from now on, before they bring something in, I stop them at the door. I say, stop. Don't bring it in yet. Check and see if it's hot. If it's not hot, give it to someone to heat up before you bring it to me. That's what I have to do now. I have to catch them at the door. So that makes it interesting. And uh, for lunch, I had uh, couscous 
uh, corn and boneless skinless chicken breast. And I decided, well, I'm just going to try to eat it without my bottom teeth. And I'm not taking my top ones out because I'm afraid if I take them out, there'll be a sore spot. And I won't be able to put them back in again. Right now, they're fine. They're suctioned in. I'm brushing them, but I'm not taking them out. Um, so, whew. So, I, uh, I, they gave me a, a whole wheat bun. I ripped the bun open and put a good chunk of the chicken in and made it like a sandwich and ate it without my bottom teeth. And it was very tender, so it kind of worked. I probably didn't chew as well as I could have. The corn probably got swallowed practically whole. But I did try to eat as much as I could because I know that I have to eat to just to keep my strength up too. So I'm eating when I can. I'm doing what I can. And uh, practicing on my thing, they said this will help a lot. You know, the dumb toy they gave me. I have to do that. He said to try to do it 10 times in an hour. Because I can't do it one right after the other. But. Whew. I'm doing that. And that's supposed to help expand my lung. And uh, which is supposed to help. I think that's it. My favorite nurse so far is Adonis. He's here again today. He's a sweetheart. I told him I'm going to adopt him and take him with me. He's such a good guy. And uh, my favorite nursing assistant, pretty sure her name was Jenny Lynn. I haven't seen her for a little while. I hope I get to see her before I leave because she's just so full of positive energy. It's awesome. Just awesome. She's an awesome lady. She's the one that helped me cut my hair. And and they're all extremely nice. I think my favorite doctor is Dr. Casper. He's got a nice sense of humor. He seems to really care. And uh, it's nice when people care about you. Yeah, I'm getting teary. But uh, they've just all been very nice to me. I have no, I know I've said it before, but if you have to go into a hospital, this is a good one to go to because they all are so sweet and so caring. They're wonderful. Oh, okay. Enough of that. <laughs> and I'm going to let you guys go now. I love you all. I love you, Patty. Stay happy, healthy, and hopeful, and follow your bliss. Um, once I get to Illinois, I'm probably going to do some paintings and try to sell some paintings to make extra money because I'm definitely going to need some money in order to live. I don't even know for sure what I'm going to do when I get there, if I'm going to get an, try to get an apartment with my son, uh, try to get one on my own which would take every penny I have. So I'm just not sure what I'm going to do or what's available. Uh, I need to call the Cancer Society or uh, I'm, I've got a note to ask my caseworker about them. Uh, see if they are any help. I don't know anything about that stuff, but I'm going to do it because it was suggested and I think it was a good suggestion. Yep, I'm going to end it now. Yep. I love you guys. Did I say that already? Whew, this is, this is part of the journey that's uh, a new adventure for Dean, sure. And I will be happy when I'm on a different adventure besides this one. Okay, I'll talk to you guys in a couple of days. <laughs> Be nice to each other.
say hi to Ellen for me. Oh, I gotta tell you something. I, w I was gonna try to let you hear it, but I have no idea how to do it. I have a friend, my friend in Illinois that I said was my first roommate, my close friend. She, she calls, and if I miss the call, she leaves me a message. I was going to let you hear the messages. I saved them so I can listen to them every once in a while. One of them says, uh, this is Ellen. Call me back. Like she's Ellen DeGeneres. Her name's Ann. It's not Ellen. And then another one she called and said, this is Ellen and Michelle. We're together. Give us a call. <laughs> and she's talking about Michelle Obama <laughs> and Ellen DeGeneres. And I just, she just sounds so absolutely matter of fact when she does it. I just love her. She's such a sweetheart. <laughs> okay. Talk to you guys later. <laughs>